msemaji karibu kwa taarifa za mbiu ya KTN katika siku ambayo uh, muungano wa wauguzi umekubali kusitisha mgomo ndio taarifa yetu kuu hii leo mimi ni Mashirima Kapombe Mgomo wa wauguzi sasa umesitishwa baada ya chama cha wauguzi kutia saini mkataba wa kurejea kazini baada ya mazungumzo na baraza la magavana nchini hebu tusikizie aliyojiri kwenye maelewano hayo mapema hii leo I'm very happy this morning that uh, what the governor has said is the true. We have reached an agreement, and the small issues that uh, the National Governing Council for the Nurses Union had raised have actually been handled. And those that have not been handled, we have agreed in a letter commitment from the Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Health, that they will be handled during the harmonized collective bargaining agreement that is going to be negotiated beginning beginning 1st January 2017. So I can humbly say that in the next few minutes, all nurses across the country will start streaming back to their places of work <laughs> as we continue to sign the recognition agreement because we have no any other reason to keep our nurses out of their places of work. Of course, what we are witnessing here is a very good occasion which we are doing under a very bad cloud of our Kenyans not receiving services. And therefore, it is both a joy and a sad moment. But we intend to focus on the good side so that we take this process forward. I want to thank all the parties who participated tirelessly in negotiations from morning to evening to the night and members of the press so as giving press conferences at 9 and 10. I want to sing especially from the county side, the Governor Ongwae, Governor Jack Anguma, and more importantly, the chairman who sat with us for two consecutive days from morning to 10 o'clock. I want also to thank the members of the negotiating team from the Kenya National Union of Nurses who patiently, for those seven days, sat and negotiated without fatigue. I also want to join in in communicating that what the governors uh, decided when we were in the meeting. We are calling upon the doctors to drop the grand standing and the intransigence with which they have handled this matter so far because we called them for negotiations and they walked out on us and they have never come back. We would like them to appreciate that um, the interests of the general public are as important as the interests of the individual. The rights of the suffering public of Kenya is equally important. So even as we look into their grievances, we, look, we need to appreciate the larger interest of the general public that is not accessing medical care at this particular point. And as we go into the, the Christmas festivities, the situation is going to be even, even worse. So we want to appeal to the doctors to appreciate this concern and in the spirit of collective humanity, call off the strike as directed by the courts. We'd like to also clearly point out that the court has said the strike is illegal. The processes that are supposed to be followed when you are calling up a strike has not been followed, and therefore they have been told by the courts to obey the court order and call off 
the strike and then create the atmosphere required for negotiations. Therefore, that is what we are asking them to do. And uh, given the fact that the strike is illegal, county governments are free, not tied to take any precipitate action if somebody refuses to obey the court order as directed. Uh, but we don't want to get there. We would like them to obey the court order and call off the strike. There is nobody who is bigger than the Republic of Kenya. There is nobody who is bigger than the constitution that, that is governing the country, that governs every one of us, big or small. And therefore, when we are called upon to respect the law and the rule of law, every one of us is required to do so. You are asking for certain grievances to be addressed within the law. Those grievances cannot be addressed if you also continue breaking the same law with which you are trying to give yourself an umbrella. So we need all to respect the law, and I think time has come, therefore, for our doctors, whom we respect a lot, to call off the strike, come to the negotiating table, we sit down and resolve these issues. I don't think they are impossible to resolve. They can be resolved. Tukisalia na sola hilo moja kumoja tunaungana na mwanahabari wetu daktari Masi Kurir kutoka studio zetu katika timojiji la Nairobi. Uh, Dr. Masi labu unaweza kutueleza kama meweza kufahamishu wale mambo ambayo ya meweza kuafikiwa katika makubaliano hayo kati ya wauguzi na baraza la magavana. Asante uh, sana mashirima. Uh, makubaliano kati ya wauguzi na baraza la magavana uh, inaitua recognition agreement. Hii uh, wamekubaliana kuwa baraza la magavana wote 47 watalitambua lile kundi la wauguzi na kisha wataketi na wao eh, itakapofika Januari tarehe mosi ili waanze ku, ku, kuzungumzia lile um, kitni, inaitua collective bargaining agreement waanze kulizungumzia ndipo sasa hapo ndio watazungumzia pesa na jinsi wauguzi watakavyofanya kazi katika makaunti afu sasa hiyo mkutano uta, utaleta wa washikadau kadhaa wa serikali kutoka wizara ya afya ya baraza la magavana kutoka salaries and remuneration commission wote wataketi ili waweze kuzungumzia huo mkataba mwingine sasa ambao sasa utaletea utaweza kule, kulainisha uh, ile uh, salaries za wauguzi mashirima na uh, dr masi tueleze kidogo uh, kutokana na kusitishwa kwa mgomo wa wauguzi je hii itakuwa hali katika uh, hospitali mbalimbali humu nchini uh, tukumbuke kuwa wauguzi wana eh, mambo ambayo wanafanya katika hospitali madaktari wa na maneno yao wauguzi kurudi watafanya tu kazi ambayo wauguzi wanaweza kufanya na madaktari paka warudi ndivo, ndipo sasa uh, hali ya huduma za afya zitakaporejea kuwa ile hali ambayo ilikuwa hapo mbeleni so tunatarajia kuwa wataweza ku kuhudumia wa Kenya kwa zile uh, services ambazo wanaweza lakini hatutaraji kuwa uh, huduma za afya zitarejea ziwe kama zilivyokuwa hapo mbeleni lakini tunarajia kuwa baraza la magavana na wizara ya afya itaketi na madaktari ili kutatua yale shida ambazo madaktari wameweza ku, kuleta na tukumbuke kuwa jana um, uh, wizara ya labor iliketi na madaktari na leo pia kaketi na wizara ya afya na tunatarajia kuwa nao wataweza kuketi wote uh, wizara ya afya wizara ya labor na madaktari ili waweze kutatua uh, shida ambazo madaktari wameweza kusema na watatiza katika kuhudumia wa Kenya ndipo sasa mgomo wa daktari usitishwe pia mashirima na swali la mwisho dr Masi labda unaweza kutueleza uh, mapema katika mkutano huo kuna wale wauguzi ama uh, chama hicho cha wauguzi kilikuwa kinahisi kuwa uh, baraza la magavana linawachezea shere je ni nini ambacho kimewafanya sasa wakakubali kutia saini mkataba huo uh, ni kama vile uh, wakati waliketi wakakubaliana kuwa baraza la magavana litatambua kundi la wauguzi ikakuwa ni kama ile tuaita goodwill kutoka katika baraza la magavana na wizara ya afya kuwa 
uh, wata, wata, wataweza kuzungumza na waweze kulainisha mambo ambayo walikuko awasikizani. So linaona ni kama waliona sasa kama kuna goodwill kutoka kwa, kwa baraza la magavana na wizara ya afya ili waweze kutatua ama kuweza kuzungumzia yale maneno ambayo wauguzi waliweza kuleta. So tunatarajia tuna, tuna kuwa serikali itaweza ku ku accomplish uh, ile makubaliano kati yenye wametia sahihi leo ndipo tusiweze tena kupata mgomo wa, wa uguzi au mwaka ujao wa uguzi wakisema labda serikali ijaweza kutimiza yale ambayo walisema watatimiza mashirima Dr. Masikori Asante sana akiwa anatuletea taarifa kamili kuhusiana na mkataba ambao umeweza kuafikiwa hii leo kati ya baraza la magavana na chama cha wauguzi huku nchini. Asante sana. Tunaendelea na swala hilo kuhusiana na afya. Hapa studio ni tuko naye daktari uh, chi, daktari Mwachonda Chibanzi ambaye ni kat, naibu katibu mkuu wa chama cha madaktari huku nchini. Asante sana kwa kufika katika studio zetu. Kwanza kabisa hebu tueleze tukio tunaona wa uguzi tayari wamekubaliana na baraza la magavana madaktari mtachukua hatua kama hiyo hivi karibuni um, kusema ukweli hapa tulipo sasa mm, wa national advisory council yetu ambao ndio madaktari wale kutoka kila nchi wale wa viongozi um, wali ndio waliotupatia hii hii action ya kwamba tunde kufanya mgomo uh -huh. na paka tuwaite waje wakija watatupatia watatu sasa mwelekeo wa kuwa tuta tuta tuta, tuta call of strike ama tutaendelea na mgomo. Ya, lakini sasa, hapo jana mahakama kuu iliharamisha mgomo. Ni kwa nini mmesisitiza kuwa hamtafuata hiyo court order? Ah um, mashirima mwaka wa tatu size. Na pia sisi tulipewa uongozi na mahakama mwezi wa 6 Oktoba. Ambao pia tunafaa pia tumfuate. Unaelewa? Mm -hmm na hatukusikizwa pia jana. Tuliitwa na tukaambiwa na hivi. Kwa hivyo imekuwa vigumu kwa madaktari wetu kuku, kusema kwamba turudi tufanye kazi. Maana sisi tunaweza sema rudi na fanye kazi na ambao mliona juzi na wauguzi. Wale viongozi walitia sahihi pale wakaambia wauguzi rudi ni kazini. Siku ya pili na ya tatu ikawa hawajarudi kazini. Maana wale ndio walokuwa wametoa mwelekeo kwamba sasa tutapofika ndio kwa mgomo. Kwa hivyo sasa hapo ndio tulipo. Na, na kuhusiana na jinsi ambavyo wale ambao wanajiita consultants uh, zaidi ya mia tatu wamejiondoa ama wameondoa huduma zao kutoka hospitali kuu ya Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Hii inamaanisha nini? Um, ina, inamaanisha kwamba sasa pia wao wanaona umuhimu wa huu mkataba ambao ni collective bargaining agreement ya 2013 sababu wale ni madaktari wamefanya kazi miaka mingi zaidi hata wengine wetu viongozi lakini wanaona umuhimu wa hili jambo na ndio maana pia wao wanataka kuwe na suluhu na kwa hivyo la msingi ni kwamba tuwe na suluhu kwa muda mfupi na uwezekano lakini daktari kuna wengi ambao wanafariki ni kuwa hamna huruma huruma tunayo mashirima na sekta yetu afya ilivyo mimi mwenyewe naweza kuambia hapa kwamba mimi mwenyewe nishaona watu wakifa mikononi mwangu kwa sababu ya vile sekta ilivyo na nikashindwa kuwasaidia na niko pale kwa hiyo tukisema ati watu wanakufa kwa sababu madaktari hawako pia hatusemi ukweli maana kila siku pia watu hufariki na kuna wale ambao bado hufariki hata tukiwa kazini kwa sababu ya vile sekta na ile kazi yetu ilivyo na vifaa tulivyo navyo inafanya kazi na kuwa ngumu. Katika muda mfupi ujao nitarejea kwako ili uweze kutueleza haya mambo ambayo unasema uh, wakati hata madaktari wakiwa hospitalini bado mnashindwa kufanya kazi yenu kikamilifu katika muda sio kwa mrefu lakini kwanza tuelekee moja kwa moja hadi katika hafla inayoendelea ya ukumbusho wa maafisa wa GSU ambao walifariki katika uh, katika ajali ya siku ya Jumamosi katika barabara kuu ya Naivasha. Tukumbuke Bwana Tukumbuke Bwana Tukumbuke Bwana 
Tukumbuke bwana toomba Tukumbuke baba Tukumbuke bwana Tukumbuke bwana Tukumbuke bwana toomba Tukumbuke yetu atutaweza Tukumbuke baba Tukumbuke Adonai Tukumbuke bwana toomba Tukumbuke bwana Yesu tukumbuke bwana Tukumbuke bwana Tukumbuke bwana toomba Taifa letu Tukumbuke Jamize tu Tukumbuke Tukumbuke Baba Tukumbuke Bwana Taomba Tukumbuke Bwana Tukumbuke Bwana Tukumbuke Bwana Asante sana Okay. Asante sana praise uh, and worship team asante mnaweza kaa chini tafadhali ningependa kuomba ya kwamba tukae chini kwa muda mmoja nikitayarisha watoto kuja kumsifu Mwenyezi Mungu alafu tutaanza mambo yale asante sana Watoto, watoto mwalimu mfanye hala hala, tafadhali. Kwaya ya watoto, State House Children's uh, Choral, please come in. Kwaya ya watoto, ya yeah, State House Chapel. Uh, nisaidia tafadhali, umuliza mwalimu, alete kwaya dan. Please come in. Why don't we give them a round of applause? Wajisikie Asante Sana. This is the State House Chapel Sunday School children coming to present in honor of our departed officers. Naam ni banda ya wafu ambayo inaendelea katika ikulu ya Nairobi uh, ambapo ni misa ya ukumbusho ya maafisa waliofariki kati ya wale watu 40 waliofariki siku ya Jumamosi katika ajali eneo la Karai katika barabara kuu ya Naivasha. Tunaendelea na mahojiano tukiwa naye daktari Mwachonda Chibanzi ambaye ni naibu katibu mkuu wa chama cha madaktari huko nchini KMPDU. Daktari ulikuwa unatueleza kuhusiana na yale mambo ambayo mnasema yanafanya ya mazingira ya kazi yawe magumu ni mambo kama gani um, la kwanza utapata saa zingine dawa katika hospitali inakuwa ni shida um, la pili unapata kwamba kama maabara ma, ma labs eh, ambazo wagonjwa wakija wanafaa kwa kupima mara nyingi unapata huwa hazina vile vifaa ambavyo vina, vile vipimo ambavyo tunataka ili uweze kujua sasa zingine mgonjwa anaweza kuja pale na ukimwangalia una hakika kama anafanya nifanye kipimo fulani na unapofanya kwanza kile kipimo huwezi kukifanya kwa hivyo unakwama huwezi kuendelea na matibabu alafu pili hata ukipata kile kipimo ile matibabu yanavyokwenda unapata kwamba kuna pingamizi nyingi kwa sababu nitakwambia nini ukiangalia seri, eh, hospitali za umma na angalia hospitali za kibinafsi kuna tofauti kubwa sana ni tofauti kwa wapi Ukiingia saa hizi tuseme uende kama Nairobi Hospital. Naitumia tu kama hata uende Aga Khan. Ukiingia ile hospitali na uende hospitali kama Mbagavi 
ama wende spali kama pumwani. Umwenye utayone ile tofauti. Sasa, Sasa hapo... kwa yule ambaye hajafika hospitali kama hizo, tupe tu maelezo tofauti kwa wapi? Tofauti ipo katika vifaa, katika vipimo na lengine ni kwamba pia ukiangalia madaktari wa vile wanavyofanya kazi katika sekta huu wanafanya kazi muda mrefu zaidi maana kule hospitali za kibinafsi unapata kwamba wanafanya masaa sita wakienda wakipumzika wanapumzishana huku kwingine tuko kidogo kwa hivyo sasa tunasukuma kazi kama ukiingia asubuhi na toka tayari jioni mara nyingi unapata mnafanya kazi mchana usiku mchana usiku mambo mm -hmm. yeah. hayo pia yana changia katika kufanya kazi. Kwa hivyo haya ni mambo ambayo mlikuwa mmetaja katika hiyo CBA ya mwaka 2013. Katika CBA inaongea kuhusu masaa ya kazi ambayo inasema kwamba kazi iwe masaa nane e, na baada ya masaa masaa nane atakayefanya kazi zaidi hapo pia kuna vile lazima ata, atalipwa kulingana na ile kazi alivyofanya. CBA ukiangalia pia inaongea kuhusu uh, training <coughs> ambayo ni kwenda kusomea utaalamu zaidi degree yako ya pili kama daktari na katika CBA kama upande wetu tume kwenye ile CBA ukiangalia kipengee chetu kama ni kuwe na karibu madaktari 400 kila mwaka wakipelekwa kwenda kusoma zaidi maana nchi yetu tuko na madaktari kidogo sana wataalamu ama specialists eh? mm -hmm. um, hii CBA pia inaongea kuhusu a, a research fund mm -hmm. ambapo unapata madaktari walio na degree ya pili ama wataalamu wataweza kufanya um, utafiti zaidi kulingana na magonjwa na pia tutaweza ku kuelekeza vile wagonjwa wataweza kutibiwa mm -hmm. na ndio nitakapokuleta kwa madaktari wa Kenya hata. Mm -hmm. Wao wataangalia vitu kama hivyo. Maana hiyo ndio vina training na hiyo utafiti inaleta ubora katika sekta ya afya. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo hapo hayo ni mambo ambayo tumetaja katika CBA. Na, na gavana wa Meru ambaye pia ni mwenyekiti wa baraza la magavana humu nchini ametoa maneno makali akisema kuwa mnapaswa kufuata masharti ya mahakama. Um, Gavana ameongea amesema pia wanataka turudi tukaongee mm -hmm. na kuna kitu nitasema hapa sisi hatujakataa kuongea kwanza lililotokea ni kwamba alamisi wiki iliyopita tulipata arafa kwamba twende mkutano Ijumaa asubuhi mm -hmm. baada ya masaa mawili tukapata tena arafa ikisema ule mkutano ume, umeairishwa mm -hmm. kwa hiyo tunangoja kuitwa na ndio kapata kwamba wao bado wakawa wametupeleka kotini ambayo ilikuwa ni jana. Mm -hmm. Sasa sijui tuelewe vipi kwamba wanatuita huku na upande huo wametupeleka kotini lakini hayo tuweke kando tuko tayari kukaa kuongea ili tuweze kupata suluhisho. Mm -hmm. Na kuhusiana na jambo lingine ambalo limeweza kutajwa uh, kuhusiana na mgomo huu uh, imekuwa miaka mitatu. Kwa nini mmengoja hadi sasa? Um, Mwaka, kati ya miaka mitatu hii mwaka mmoja na nusu umeishia kotini maana kesi ilikuwa kotini tarehe sita mwezi wa kumi, tukapewa uamuzi uamuzi ukasema siku 30 tukae na wizara ya afya na wale wengine ambao watakuwa na interest katika CBA hii alafu ndani ya siku 45 toka tarehe ya uamuzi ambayo ilikuwa tarehe sita tuweze kukaa CSRC nao waweze kuleta maoni yao sasa wenzetu upande ule mwingine ni kama hatuelewi either wali walidharau ama ni walichukulia kuwa hii haitaweza kufanyika na sasa unapata kwamba sisi tulikuwa tunaitaka hii CBA ili tulete amani katika sekta hapa maana ndio lengo letu kuu tulete amani katika sekta hapa kuna wengine labda wanaweza kuona ni mwaka wa siasa kwa hivyo kuna wengine ambao huenda wakafaidi mashirima um, ukiangalia sema nikupatie kitabu hivi ukiangalie saizi mm -hmm. ama nikakupa shilingi utaiangalia vile unavyotaka wewe mm -hmm. uweza kuangalia upande huu ukaangalia upande huu upande huu unaotaka wewe ambao mwenyewe utakuwa umejihakikisha kwamba ah hivi ni hivi mm -hmm. lakini sivyo mm -hmm. ukisikiza kwa kina na kwa umakini na hata jana tumemweleza um, waziri wa leba tukamweleza kwamba lengo letu kuu ni hii CBA iweze kujadiliwa na tuweze kupata CBA katika sekta ya afya ya madaktari. Mm. Kwa hiyo sasa wanaokuja wakisema siasa wanaokuja wakisema wenyewe wametaka kuangalia hivyo na unajua sisi kama madaktari ama muungano wa madaktari hatuwezi ku control ambaye anataka kuangalia vile anavyotaka yeye. Unaelewa? Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo kila mtu atangalia anavyotaka lakini madaktari 
kwetu sisi ni CBA. Naam, kuna mengi zaidi ambayo nataka tuzungumzie lakini kwanza tupumzike kidogo. Tarejea na taarifa zaidi pamoja na mahojiano tukiwa naye Daktari Mwachonda Chibanzi ambaye ni naibu katibu mkuu wa chama cha madaktari huko nchini. Endelea kuwa nasi.